Hello, I'm Dr. Hamilton Stubbs, a double board certified sleep specialist, board certified pediatrician, and a certified nutrition specialist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so happy to have you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to hit the notifications button. I used to try to upload a video every Wednesday, but now that we have the pandemic and some things have changed, I have difficulty getting up a video every Wednesday. So if you hit a notification button, you'll get the video uh, whether or not I put it up on a Wednesday or another day out of the week. And I definitely want you to be able to see the video. Tonight I want to talk to you about supplements that help sleep. Now there are lots of supplements out there that help sleep and I'll probably do another video on some of those other supplements. But tonight I want to talk about just four supplements and the reason I'm talking about these four supplements is these supplements actually have scientific proof that they help with the quality of sleep. The first one I want to talk about is magnesium. Now we I have been told that magnesium is deficient in the soil and mostly everyone is probably magnesium deficient. So people tend to take magnesium just on that alone. But magnesium, like some vitamins and other supplements, can be harmful if your body isn't able to metabolize and excrete these things. So people who have problems with kidney disease and hypertension really should be working with a primary care provider to make sure that magnesium is safe for you to take and that if you're taking a supplement that you're not going to get toxic. Magnesium works by relaxing the body and it also enhances gamma amino, uh, a gamma amino butyric acid, which is abbreviated as GABA. GABA is a neurotransmitter that promotes sleep. And um, this can really help you sleep. If you have a problem with a low magnesium level, it will relax your muscles, help with your blood pressure, and it will just help you fall asleep better. Some people think it may help them with if with uh, restless legs if they have that syndrome. So how much should you take? It depends. You really shouldn't take more than 325 milligrams uh, in a day. And if you take more, definitely talk with your health care provider before you start it. And definitely if you're going to take more than a small amount in a day. You can get magnesium from your leafy green vegetables. So having a green smoothie a big salad at lunchtime, and some people want to know, do I have to be a rabbit? No, but uh, you do have to eat leafy greens if you want to get your magnesium, if you want it from a natural source. And I always think natural or eating the food is where we should start and then supplement if needed. The next supplement is calcium. Calcium is something that ch the requirement changes for women with age. So we need more of it as we get older. And a lot of people do, just don't get enough uh, calcium because we're not eating enough dairy. And I don't promote eating large amounts of dairy. But I do think we need to ingest calcium. And if you are trying to prevent bone loss, you need to get all of the other minerals that enhance the absorption of calcium and the building of bones. But for sleep, a calcium supplement can help you. Now, I did meet one natural path um, health provider who recommended that patients just take calcium at night. If you can't go to sleep, have a bottle of calcium next to your bedside and just take a pill. If you don't fall asleep in a little while, take another pill. The problem I have with that is large amounts of calcium have been shown to cause plaques in the artery and it's not really good for your cardiovascular system. If you're going to take calcium, it should be taken in small doses. And again, talk with your health care provider. I personally don't take more than 500 milligrams of calcium at a time. And I try to take it throughout the day because the body can only absorb so much. So if you take it all at once, and the recommended level is for some women, my in my age group is 
1200 milligrams in a day you take all of that at one time your body may not absorb it as well as if you just take uh, 500 milligrams and then have some food that has calcium in it I personally like to drink almond milk and almond milk will give me almost 500 milligrams so that is replacing one supplement pill when we talk about calcium and sleep calcium facilitates the production of tryptophan and tryptophan is a, a, a protein that we're going to be getting from our diet but it is a precursor to melatonin tryptophan is made into serotonin and serotonin becomes melatonin and melatonin is the body's natural sleep aid one of the things that we know about melatonin can also be taken as a supplement you can get a prescription melatonin which will work on a receptor uh, more specific for sleep or you can just get um, generic melatonin over the counter that melatonin will give like a shotgun effect it will affect um, many of the melatonin receptors and melatonin is not just secreted from the brain you get a lot of melatonin from your gut and if you want to enhance your gut melatonin I always think probiotics healthy gut healthy sleep and the gut and brain are directly connected and the gut secretes lots of melatonin which is going to help you with getting a good night's sleep the last one I want to talk about is glycine now this isn't something that I had been using but glycine is an, a, a non-essential amino acid and this is uh, amino acids are building blocks to make protein and glycine has a common effect on the brain and it's been documented to improve the quality of sleep and people who take glycine believe that they wake up having more energy and have less fatigue throughout the day you can find glycine naturally in foods that are high in um, glycine with uh, meat fish dairy legumes you can have these as a bedtime snack or just take a supplement and these are the four supplements that I wanted to share with you a little information about how they could be helping with sleep if you like to have more information about sleep and sleep tips follow me on Instagram at I am Dr. PH Stubbs also subscribe to the channel hit notifications I'd love to have you and don't forget give me a thumbs up I would love to see some thumbs going up 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 okay take care and I'll see you next time